Hello, my name's Tony, and I'm the Society's Librarian and Archivist. In this short video, I'm going to give you a few top tips on how to use the Society's ebook collection and tell you a little bit more about how the Society's Library can help you. As a Royal Aeronautical Society member, you have access to over 200 of the best professional aviation ebooks included as part of your current membership. These books are a great source of detailed information, a perfect tool for brushing up your knowledge or exploring new areas, thereby contributing towards your continuous professional development and helping you progress to your career goals. It's not all work, as there are one or two aero history books as well. So what type of subjects does our collection cover? We've currently got material on green aviation, aviation management, including support for first time managers, aerodynamics, propulsion, structures, composites, space engineering, air transport management, avionics, aircraft systems and aircraft maintenance. We also have a collection of material recommended by the Society's book reviewers and also another collection for those who are just about to start their aero engineering courses. The collection will also expand as time goes by. For example, towards the end of 2020, we will have a new UAV collection. So how do you access eBooks? Well, just go to the eLibrary at www.aerosociety.com slash eLibrary. Then just put in your society website username and password. Select access the full eBook catalog here. Once you successfully log into the site, you should be able to see this. You've got this wonderful clean Google type box up here. You've got an advanced search if you want to use it and a subject search browse section there and some links to tips and tricks here or contact us at the library. I'm going to just going to try having a go at the simple Google box and I want to have a look at integrated vehicle health management systems. So as I'm nosing, I'll bung in IVHM, press the search box and it brings up the results. Um, this is the results for books, which is great, but you can be a bit slightly more clever and you can go for the chapter results. It'll go inside the book itself. So you can look down the list of things you want. Aha, there, there is a section there in Greed Aviation. Looks quite interesting. You can um, download the chapter if you want to or plow in to have a look. I'm going to have a look online and it should bring up the section for you. You can do some quite snazzy things up here if you want to. You can download the entire PDF as a chapter. The amount you can download depends on the book. Sometimes, you, because of the licensing, you can download a little bit more than others. You can print off stuff, to PDF and others. You can go and copy the section, so it brings out a nice copy and paste section. It even rather nicely puts out a little reference there so you can dump it straight into your project quite easily. Um, what I quite like is the nips and tricks and things you can do with this. So if you go to sign in, you can create an account. Oh, you don't mind. So bung that in. And you can do all the things you're not supposed to be able to do with a library book, like highlight stuff. So if you wanted to, I don't know, just highlight integrated health management, you can. You can bung post-it notes. So if you think this is a load of rubbish, You can do that and save, and it'll save a little note section there. And all this will then go into your bookshelf. So if you see your bookshelf, you can see the difference book we've hired in the bar. I'm going to head back for a sec. I also quite like the stuff on the left-hand side here, because if you go down here, you can actually see which section the books do talk about um, VHMs. So you can go to the operation section, It'll give you little soups on. And if you like it, it'll bring it up there too. The same goes with the system there. Another nice feature is that you can virtually borrow the book for 24 hours. So if you're going on a flight or don't have access to Wi-Fi, you can press one of these download buttons. The only problem is that if you do download a book, other people won't be able to read it. So if you don't need to download it, please don't. The other half of our e-library is e-journals. There are articles and papers from over 2,500 full-text journals and magazines, including news and insights from Flight International, Rotor and Wing, and Defence and Aerospace Week, 
technical papers and articles, including a selection of material from our very own aeronautical journal. Aviation historians can also enjoy articles and papers from aviation history, air power history, air classics and technology and culture, while members can also sign up to receive regular updates on your favourite subjects. For more information, watch our e-journals video. If you can't find what you're after on the e-library, or just like the feel of paper in your hands, try our traditional library. The best way to access this is via our library catalogue. Again, we have a good, simple, Google-style search box, but I rather like the guide to search, which gives you information on the most recent books and articles on many of the subjects that are covered in the library. When you find what you need, select Request. We can arrange for the item to be put to one side for you. Members of the Society from in the UK can then ask to borrow books via our postal loan service. Whilst for a small fee, anyone can request a copy of other material to be scanned or posted to them. But we're not all about work. We have an excellent collection of material on the world of aviation and aerospace, both past, present and future. If reading is not your thing, we have a cream of society lectures and interviews as podcasts, including some with the great names of aviation, including Sir Frederick Handley Page and Sir Alan Cobham. Plus, there is amazing early aircraft footage on our YouTube channel. We can even help with a perfect cup of tea with an aero mug. You can choose from over 12,000 of our images to be placed on posters, puzzles, prints and more. The perfect present for Christmas. Most importantly, we have years of experience helping people to find the information they need. So if you have any questions or comments, please do let us know. Thank you.